operation. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Okay. Or you can save it to Oscar. Unless you want to do both of them. Yeah, you have to come back and get it. Yeah, I can okay. find it. Do your thing. Do your thing, brother. Hey, come on. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Nice to you. Nice to you. Thank you for yeah. coming through. Coming yeah. through. Yeah. That's right. I got, I got everything recorded. Okay. This, this is the drop in. We're gonna get parts of everything. All right. Hey, right. we're just recording. And like recording here, I got new new toys. Oh. So. Shit. Yeah, man. So I love some gonna... new toys. Hey. <laughs> shit. So this is to record. This is, supposedly this is like one of the top ones in the market for a good sound quality. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. now we're recording. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. So we it recording. is very new. It is very new. <laughs> it's so new that I learned that yesterday. And just now you turned hey, it it's on. Over there, man. Right. Can you go? It's on the next street. Yeah, I'll drop yeah. it. Look over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I, I parked on the same street, but right up, like a maybe middle of the. And I parked because I thought that was his then truck. You got a great spot. That's a that's a damn. Yeah. I thought that was you. He was holding this for you. I was like, so if I tap it, this is old truck. Look, I don't care. look, this is old, old truck. So I can tap it a little bit. I wouldn't care. This, this thing's all scratched up, man. But well, this is my girl. This is my my beast. But uh, your OG Frank hungry. Oh, oh what we eating? He said, Yo, he said he wanted ribs. Mm. So I know a really, really, really good rib spot if he really do want Where you park at? Where you park at, dog? Oh, did I just make a right right here at this stop sign. And then go down to the next one and make another right. I'm on 11th Street. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, okay, you got the same spot. And whatever spot that is next to a nomad or whatever, it's jumping. Oh, it's always like that. Got a little uh, hookah spot. Ah. Uh, hookah spot, yeah. It's always you good, buddy. Yeah, some of us know how to drive. Mm -hmm. Not all of us, but some nah, of us. I will. I can when I make can. a right. <laughs> yeah, make oh, a right. Lord. When we was driving home that night. It, oh, that man. Night, let me tell you this, Santi. That night it was raining. Yeah. I had, by the time I got to, like, where uh, the MGM was, yeah. I had zero visibility. visibility. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even see the car in front of me. It's, it's, it's right here. There you go. I see you. I was, me, I was dipping. I pulled over to get gas, <laughs> and I said, it was like, Quana. <laughs> it was like, that. it was like, I can't see I shit. Can't see shit. Yeah. I was dipping. I was with some, some, uh, <laughs> Oh, you know what? I waited. You know what? I waited later than you guys. Yeah, you did. I you were still in there. Yeah, but I'm going to have to move the seat to get it. I get it. Well, yeah. I get back there with OG. Yeah, you can, can roll it and pull it forward. Yeah, you can come on back. I got something to need. No, she's looking for her, something she dropped on the floor. Oh. A cover. Oh, was it this? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are all out of fine. That's the head. It's yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, you gonna find it's <laughs> mine. And I, and I got it. <laughs> I was all <laughs> See, I waited a minute now. What kind of podcast is this? It's the only thing. I showed a video. It's the only thing. So, your OG Frank, man. What's yeah, up, everybody, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, hey. Hey, this is the Christmas edition. Yeah, you know, Christmas, I love yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Christmas well, well, for, I got my red since on. Since it's Christmas. What we got? I'm gonna bleep this out, but I'm gonna pull out some Christmas. Hey, bleep. <laughs> Christmas. Yes, indeed. Yes, we got we got. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got that looks good, right? That's yeah. 4K, yo. That's an iPhone ain't playing. <laughs> iPhones don't play, man. Yes, indeed. So who gonna uh, bless it? Come on, bless it. I normally got the light. Oh yeah, you the lady, mm -hmm, lady, lady. Okay. You got light. Okay, you got. And you see how I, I I blur it out anyway. Oh, okay. We good, everybody. We still good. We get ready. We're in the city. Where we? Northwest? Yes. Northeast. 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 Oh, we get some ribs. Wanna get some ribs. We might get the ribs before we finish up at least pockets. We're gonna do a pause then. Okay. So, uh, I guess to start Man. off, we, we say who we are, where we where they can find us. I'll start off. I'm at Super Saiyan Santi. Uh everywhere. And where can they find you at? Oh, I'm Quantum Violin. I'm on Instagram. That's Quantum Violin. Also, it's me, Honey Child. 
Um, also on Facebook, I'm on our fan page, All Gas No Breaks Podcast fan page. Also, I have another page called Excelled. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a bunch of memes and crazy stuff like we got on our fan page. And then my regular page is uh, Quanta Diva Violin, and that's on Facebook. So I'm basically everywhere. You are literally everywhere. <laughs> She's every location. I know, damn. I should have went first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm OG underscore Frank on Instagram sometimes. Sometimes. We're we going to give his cat the password. When are you going to be online? Because that's, that's the question. He's so cool. That's 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 what it is. He's so damn cool. He too cool. He that either you know or you don't. That's it. That's, that's, how, that's how you can sum that up. He's so damn cool. And, and people be in my inbox like, how you know him? I work with him, or my mother work with him, or my cousin work with him, and he's so funny and did it, but you won't know it until you know him. So please stay tuned, because that's the only little bit of OG you ever going to get. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You really know me. It's then. big facts. Yeah, that's very, very big facts. Big facts. So. Hold on. This you hole and you. What? You gonna figure it out. These DC streets turning into Baltimore streets real quick. Oh, I'm just thinking the street will figure it out. See? Yeah. The street will figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Always, you know. always. He was a crackhead. Well, he wasn't a crackhead, but well. he turned into a crackhead. Yeah. He oh, had a good wow. government job. We used to play basketball every mm. lunchtime. You never know when someone's going to fall. So, yo, That's the truth. Just pray that they get the fuck back up, right? Oh, my and, God. And man. be there when they do. But yeah. when they not, so I don't want to have three dogs. Or seven. And no, you can't stay with me. Oh, I saw that meme. Let me tell you something. No, they cannot stay with you. I was very you know, like that piece again. It's on the it's on it's on it's on it's on it's on it'll burn you. Hey man, I told the owner of my company something that fucked his head up a little bit. I didn't really mean this. I, you know, I didn't want to not say it because it came up in my mind. I had to say it. Yeah, know? what's that? And he said, Do you ever think we'll have world peace? And I was like, Yo, we're not going to have peace until the oppressors are oppressed. Damn, this motherfucker will take me real shit. Well, you want to know what I think? I think world peace starts with inner peace. And until you comfortable with that, you're going to be trying to join every energy, whether it's negative or positive. And that will always be, you know, some discrepancy there because everybody not going to be on the same page. Guys, is this a light? No, it's not a light. <laughs> no, it's, it's, every, a light. No. it's every man for himself. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I know the area. I'm looking for ribs, man. I'm looking for uh, I'm, I'm going to blow your mind in a second, man. All right. But yet, on that piece shit, man... I don't think we'll ever have peace here. No, we won't. We, we no, will we never won't. have any. We, we will never have any peace. People here. refuse to. to Everybody just be want peaceful. to be above somebody too much yes. for it to be peaceful. You know what I'm yes. saying? People minds are not at peace. It's the way they're programming themselves. How, you, how, you how they're doing? Program. Oh, I'm good. I'm doing great. Man. How, how's this COVID nineteen? You know, just before we jump into anything, how's COVID nineteen and family? How's that doing? I'm spending a lot of time with my family, mm -hmm. but I was already doing that. That's good. That's why I came back. So, um, so I think it's good that everybody else gets the chance to go through what I'm going through, even if it's forcefully. Because, <laughs> uh, as you can clearly see, they're shutting things down okay. very slowly, so we don't panic. Yeah. But I have toilet paper, so. I got toilet paper. <laughs> you know, I guess that's what everybody was scrambling for. But I, I can see that everything is slowly shutting down again, and they're trying to do it in a way so that everybody don't panic again. But um, I think everything should be shut down. I don't think I don't think we're accomplishing anything this way with people still dying. But what you think about the okay, so This is a kind of a topic I was going to talk about mm -hmm. the shot and the people having reactions to it. You see the reactions people having when they get their faces. What is it called? I don't know what it's Bull called. Talks? No, 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 no. They're they breaking out high and stuff. And they're getting a paralysis of the face. Mm -hmm. like, oh. Yeah, a lot of, some people, not a lot, but some people. Well, you know. They need some cocoa batter. <laughs> that won't fix it all. When, awesome. they the, um, when they did the, when they did the test, mix. there was not a lot of uh, black uh, test subjects in the group. We don't want to go. No, I mean, they didn't have, they didn't have them. They, yeah, they didn't want to be. So they, it, they, they don't know how, uh, like, older black men will react to it. Will it give them a heart attack? There's mm -hmm. some questions open about that because they didn't. Because we a eat a lot of, of fried foods and stuff. <laughs> and also, a lot of us have diabetes, high blood pressure, hypertension. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about.
about that. We don't talk about it, but it definitely been killing us for years. And that's a pre-existing, you know, symptom that can cause more symptoms if you catch it. But isn't it true that they put a little bit of every disease in each, not every disease, but depending on the vaccination, they put a little bit of the disease inside of it and they cure it. And that's how the vaccine is, va vaccine. The vaccine is, somebody gonna name their baby that. Vaccine. Yes. Hey, you know what, that's good though, what you got in your hand though. I see. Well, you know, they, <laughs> they put a little bit of the bacteria from all the, right. the flus and the viruses that mm -hmm. they can find and put it in your body so your body can start fighting it off. The there antibiotics build mm. up and start fighting it off. So you're getting a dose of the actual... Either that or have nigga with the flu just sneeze in your face. Pay him $30. Amen. Man, yeah. man, I don't know. I guess so. I know they do that with the flu. I'd rather get, get the flu shot, but I right. had that and I caught pneumonia. Yeah, I, that's why people don't get the flu shot. Yeah, if you go on World Star, they got a video with Dr. Oz, right? And somebody asked Dr. Oz about oh, the flu shot. What is that? Dr. Oz said, don't get the flu shot because you may catch COVID. Yeah. Because I guess your immune system would get they give you the flu and the immune system would get low enough. Yes. So I didn't know how much to believe it. It made But sense. it was enough for me to go. If Dr. Oz said that, and they cut him off. They cut them off. Like I put it on my page one day. Okay. Yeah, I think they removed it from my page. I bet. Doctor Oz said that. So yo. Wow. I like that shit. Well, that I makes sense, that, doesn't it? I mean, it, it makes sense, but then they pushing everybody to get the flu shot to prevent yeah, COVID. Because yeah. they say if you catch the flu, then you're prominent to catch COVID. You know what I've been doing? I've been hitting that vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bought some vitamin C tablets. You saw I shot you your list. Yeah, I saw that long way. I shot him. Like, I, he has a list of, of med, med, like, you know, vitamins that I take and things of that nature. Uh -huh. And I shot it to OG over here. I take vitamin I C. I take vitamins and, and I I try to keep oranges and I have all the You got to keep that vitamin C, man. I even got the powder in powder form. Like, and I pour it in my little water. There it is. Vitamin C. Whatever. Man. Emergency. Emer you got emergency. Yep, you got it. Period. Yep. Period. Whatever Dr. Sebi say, right? Hey, and I and, and I've been trying to eat better. Yes, and I've been exercising two or three All times. All those a week. things make your body strong enough to defeat whatever it is out here. That's the goal. That's the goal. I eat a lot of beans and rice. You eat a lot of frijoles and arroz. Frijoles yeah, I've been I've been turning up uh, up chipotle a little bit. So I saw put up chipotle. I there. gotta calm down on that because I didn't gain the weight. So I'm gonna take some of that back. Yeah, yeah, okay, Maybe good, I have to get it without the rice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Like, no, nah, I do need to hit the gym. I, hit the gym. I, I just the gym. need to drop my body <laughs> off there and pick it up when it's ready. Random question. What's that? Swimming. We have a whole sort of thing about how far you can yeah, swim. Yeah, I think I put two. So that's like the sand and a little bit of the shore. My knees. Oh, your knees. That's I, oh, I two of your knees. knees. Yeah, because you, you, you don't go above, further out. You don't go above your neck or to your neck. I don't need to. We're talking at the beach. At the beach, you guys, you can be swept away or where whales uh, roll over and die out the water. I want, I need to be able to still run. We talk about how far you swim. I can't swim as fast as so, I can run. So, I, I, give, I give you the line of, here's the picture right there. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, yeah, I know I do at least six, seven, six feet at least. I go Get over, over yeah. about six feet. I go on the knees, swim back around, scare my wife. Oh my God. Yeah. So he's going above the head yeah. or below the ocean. I'm not, back. not, nah, nah, nah. Man, I'm not a great swimmer because I don't swim all the time. Like every, once every five years now, maybe. But if you need to swim, you're going to swim your ass oh, off. You just believe me. I got to go. I yeah. will survive. In the water, you don't really have to, like, tread water in the ocean or, you know, to not drown. Oh, no, they got them little funnels and just tunnels. Keep, keep your little neck up and you'll, you'll be okay. I uh, go to I, so, I, sometimes I go to the buoy. I'm not gonna lie, I will okay. swim to that because really? I like wow. to just do it. Sometimes if I can do it. Okay, you a real swimmer. Thank you. Yeah. Slightly. Not. A, I'm not that great, but I yeah. I, I did the no, one. No, you're CA, great. I no, the that's CA great. Classes. Well, you swim to the buoy. I'm talking swim two, three feet out underwater, come back. I'm I'm doing. I don't go underwater though. I'm all, I'm at the top the whole time though. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm I'm over there balancing the it. waves. Yeah, I'm I'm balancing the it. waves. And then I'll come back. When I was a kid, my cousin used to always go out there. Yeah. And you know, when you're a kid, you always trying to compete. And they used to laugh at you if you couldn't do it. So I was like, man, shit, I'm gonna go out there too. You know what? I think I was like 13, 14. I would, me and my dad drove to California. I mean, my dad did that before. Wow. 
And he preached the whole damn thing. He was on the run now. He preached the whole damn thing. <laughs> Talk about that later. Oh, uh, we should. <laughs> when we got there, we went on the pier. There was a, there was a homeless guy. He had a beard. It looked like it was like out of a movie. And he woke up and he did a swan dive into the ocean, started oh, backstroking, shit. and he swan had a bar, dive. he pulled the bar of soap, I guess, out of his ass, and started taking a bath. I was like, man, I would love to be able to swim like that. With yeah. that confidence, just jump What kind the of ocean. soap are you going to show them? I don't, know, I don't even know where he got this. <laughs> what kind of soap is he going to use? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know, but hopefully don't have nothing but too much perfume. Yeah. It <laughs> calls for an itchy ass. An itchy butthole. Okay. Uh, do we got parking in the front? Do we got parking in the front? I was going to say, if we hit that uh, moped, we do. <laughs> no, we don't we got parking in the front. That's forcing the issue. Uh, okay, we're going to go around, guys. But this is always a tough... This Yo, OG underscore wanted ribs. Want some ribs? We at the rib joint. We'll take him to the rib joint. Uh, this is the spot right here. D.C. City. Smokehouse, yo. This right here... This food right here. Oh, shit, that's, that's what it is. Gas station. Oh, yeah. So they probably get taking that gas out. That's the one where you gotta look around when you get your gas. <laughs> <laughs> Everything beautiful. To look. So what about uh let's talk about these trends, trending topics again, man. What about uh Goya? Did you see the Jane I put up about Goya? There's a, there was another thing about Goya. Goya okay. had a beef with uh the shorty, the Spanish kind I don't know what she is. That, that oh, you know her old AOC. What's yeah. her name? AOC. I'm not. I'm, you know what? I'm I'm blank because you know I I had a better topic. Oh, give me a better topic. Bro. Oh, Bruh, Did you see that motherfucker get knocked the fuck out? You mean? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's talk about that again. Yeah, I did see that kid get knocked. Bruh, <laughs> I watched the the you know pre interview he did. About how he getting up five o'clock in the got a Ferrari out here. Uh -huh. I see it. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, they Spanish. Oh, you Latin. funny. You funny. Yeah. Come on, Santi. You know why I said that, right? Well, oh, on. Italian. That's the Italians. Uh, that, yeah, flag. that was the flag yeah. down the middle. Yeah. That's yeah. The yeah. Yeah. You gonna park up here? No, we we'll park on those strip. <laughs> no, we yes. Oh, this parking right here. Okay, cool. Uh, we park right here. So yeah, he did. He did get knocked out. I feel bad, man. Uh, he just ran right into it, man. He, he didn't run into. It. He was being very. I was. I, we spoke about it. Me and uh, OG. Oh, I'm taking the name out. But me and DJ Keys last the last podcast, and I felt like my boy was being mad aggressive. Like he was being mad. Like I'm like, why you keep attacking this white boy like that? Like. Take your time. Like, he was fighting like he was on the street. Fighting. Let me tell you yeah. something. Yeah. If you go to get paid to whip somebody's ass, you're supposed to go whip somebody's motherfucking ass. But it's like and he ain't, and he ain't waste no time on it. He wasn't going in there you playing no game. I, I, we all saw that. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> you know what? And when he lay, I said, oh, shit. Well. <laughs> That's not boxing. That's, not, got, that's, that's not boxing. That's going to get your ass up. He got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, he. It wasn't no strategy. Not no, he was, no, he was just throwing. He was like, going to whip his ass. And, and even the knockout, the white boy gave him wasn't even that like. No, was just, it was like he was pulling away. He ran and he, into he it. He ran into that punch. Cause he, he going for it. He ready to go, and went. And he got. And out. he went too. Got his ass knocked out. <laughs> Hilarious. He was Poor oh, baby, he was sad. I got my mask. I, I got, got my mask. I got my mask. Got your mask. Oh, horses like, oh, so the horse is a little hurt. We gonna put a bandage on. They like, oh, go get the gun. You get rid of the horse. <laughs> yeah, go get the gun. <laughs> so this conversation is: Ooh. Should we keep a three-legged dog alive? Oh, God, OG please. says, shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> what, 
What do you say? Uh, ain't no dogs named that, Trey. <laughs> no. You still walk the three-legged dog? Yeah, just like he did. That's too much work to the three-legged dog. He, he was hopping. He was hopping, he was hopping but he was whimpering. He was, he, was, he, was, he was whimpering and hobbling at the same time, though. You know what I'm saying? That's a peace sign. He ain't even got to lift that leg up. He can pick him up. <laughs> it's, already, it's already lifted. He can carry him. He can you pick him up. You funny as hell. I can't believe that. Y'all are terrible. I say put him out. <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> Time to get some food. Yeah. You know what? In, in the next life, if I had to go back and change anything, mm -hmm. I would just marry like a woman who could really, really cook. Like, mm -hmm. like <laughs> really cook like any type of food, like international food. But had to know how to fry chicken real good. How you gonna do that? What do you mean? How you gonna find that woman? You can just teach a woman how to do that. Uh, they gotta know from their parents teaching them, sending it down there. I'm not teaching them. <laughs> okay. We're supposed to know how to do that. Damn. It's a lot. Well, I cook. Mm. It's a lot of food? Yeah, yeah, I cook all kind of food. I go yeah. online and figure out how to cook something and cook that shit. We do that shit all the time. Fuck that. I'll be, I'll be getting tired of the same African American routine my damn style. So I do cook. I cook all kind of, you know, Mexican food and, well, you know. What, what, what's your go to? Culture, food. I don't know. I love it all because I'm still learning new style. Mm -hmm. They got they got a big menu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what all I like, so I'm slowly learning different things as I go along. What would you say is that culture of food that you go to? Me, I, I, I like Italian food. Mexican. Oh yeah, Mexican. Yeah, yeah. I'm good at yeah. Mm. What about the Mexican food you like? Like the beans or the rice? I, I like the whole thing. Mm. Do it, Sammy. Mm. Mm. Do it, Tammy. Mm. Shit. If you gonna make spaghetti, is it good? Is it good? He's, mm -mm. Um, if you can make, no if you make spaghetti, oh, you, oh, you not gonna eat it's oh, Sunday. She not, she's not gonna take. She, she, mm -mm. she maintaining. Yeah, I don't need no ribs. I'm gonna go to the gym on Monday. Okay. For this, I've been, I've been working out like a mother. After. Yeah, I have. Been. I see you. I'm trying to. I've been seeing. <laughs> I haven't seen you. I'm you trying. ain't letting up either. I'm not. That's what's up. That's the willpower you need. Whatever willpower you got, that's the willpower you need. They say thinking about working out is just as good. <laughs> if that was the case, if that was the case, you wouldn't even see me in this seat. I'd be so small because I think about it all the damn time. But if I am I going to get up and go do some sit-ups? Probably not. Probably ain't. Probably going to get up and go, you know, fry some fish or something. <laughs> Shit. I'd be just be like, fuck it. I'm going to do what I'm used to doing. So to break that routine and start to do something different, there's a way of change. And that's I'm proud of you for that because I don't have that yet. Working on, I'm working on me. So do doctor told me I had to do it. Oh well. And then when that happened, I was like, "Gonna make it happen." And then I just started feeling good. But what really helped me take it to the next level was uh, yoga. Okay. Doing yoga, stretching, that stretch. Okay. One day I did a yoga course. My wife and I went to the yoga thing, and I did that joint. And I was like, I couldn't do the poses. <laughs> and I'm over here, these laughing at these people like that shit. Nah, I ain't doing. Yeah, I ain't doing yeah. It. And I couldn't even like touch my toe. Mm -hmm. I couldn't like get straight down and put my palm the on the floor. Basics. I said, nah, yo, I'm, I can't. This thing is in the way. Mm -hmm. And ever since I started doing that, I started getting into the feeling of wanting to work out all the time. But this guy right here, man, you work out. You, I know you work out. You don't work out as much as you used to because you're working like a psycho. For me? Mm -hmm. I don't believe in working out. <clears throat> I believe like you could do a little. 10, 15 minute exercise routine mm -hmm. or jump on a bike mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or go for a walk. But when you go for a walk, don't just like I'm walking to the store. It's different. When you put your tennis shoes on and your, your sweats or whatever and you put your music and you go for a walk a certain area and then come back, it, that, mm -hmm. that's exercise. But if mm -hmm. you walk from work, I don't think it's the same. When you walk to the store, it's mm -hmm. not the same. Mm -hmm. It's exercise, but it's not the same in your mind as getting some, some exercise for yourself. I think the mind has a, you know what? What's that shit? The genome project? Okay. So, I'm up late one night watching this genome project and they're talking about all the genes and what they do. 
mm. and how different our genes are from a grape. It's like we only have a few more genes than a grape. Wow, okay. Right? So um, they were like saying that some genes <laughs> are passed down from your parents. Right. But you have these genes, which are called trigger genes, and they might trigger like a growth. And like when Dennis Rodman grew, mm -hmm. that, that a foot and a half over the summer, it's like genes like that. And I don't know why I brought this shit up, but before mm -hmm. I did, <laughs> I did have a point. <laughs> Let me eat another rib. How about those ribs? Very good. They're pretty good. Oh, they're pretty good. Uh -huh. Pretty good. You know what? I'm going to They're not southern style ribs, but. For, they close, they are good. But for they the local good. area? Yeah, yeah, I'll be back. For a nice little yuppie spot? Okay. The food's pretty good. And what's the name of it again? DC Smokehouse. There it is. So if you look in there, it is. Boom. Mm -hmm. I'll fuck that up, yo. Yeah. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. I've seen it. Mm, it was the massacre. <laughs> you know what? I didn't put the sauce. When I put the sauce on, man, they, they makes it a whole lot better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like they eat the driest wings. Yeah, you know, like, you're supposed to put the sauce on it. Sometimes it's too much and it's too messy, and I'm like, why did I get the sauce? Mm. Oh, that was good. You know what's going to be delicious right after all that? That right there. <laughs> I'm going to make it amazing. <laughs> it is. So, so rest in peace, Debo. Because. That, I'm like, yeah. And that's a lot of the cast from the first Friday. Pops has passed away. Mm -hmm. Debo's passed away. Mm -hmm. The lady, young lady that played, I don't her name, but she played the Janet Jackson girlfriend. Like mm -hmm. she, was, she was like Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. And Bernie Mac. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, so that's just, that's just like, wow. Rest in peace to him, Debo. Tiny, Tiny Lister. Mm -hmm. Tiny, that was the name, right? That tiny dude, Lister. Lister. Oh, mm -hmm. he was funny. I loved him in the first one, first Friday, but I loved him the most in the second Friday because mm -hmm. he got to act more. Mm -hmm. Then it was him and uh, and Sticky Fingers. They looked a mess. A mess. And they were in the, in the, the, the yeah, dog truck. Away. Yeah, they got out of jail. So they got out of the broke jail. Out of jail. Z, I ain't gonna kick it with you no more. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> jail mama. That's terrible. <laughs> It was hilarious. Uh, he said, call Mr. Jones. Tell Mr. Jones to call him at the Mexican spot, at the, the burrito spot, to go get Craig. <laughs> look at you. Look at you. I remember. I love that movie. <laughs> I love Friday after that. Absolutely. Next. I love all of them movies. And, man, rest in peace. That's crazy. They all passing away. Yeah. Time to come up with some new, some new material, hey. guys. Time to come up with some new material. Say no more. We're doing it right here. Absolutely. And what, okay, so he, he didn't put the sauce on it. He didn't got quiet now. Or he didn't he rib put, up, though. He, he didn't put the, the sauce on it now. He quiet. Yes. He quiet now. <laughs> he got the sauce <laughs> on his face. Jesus Christ. All right. So, okay. <laughs> okay, one in ten. You dig it? Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a nine. A nine. Yeah. Oh. Pretty good. No, it's, it's pretty good. He said he wanted ribs, and I was like, I know a spot, and you gonna like. He gave it a nine. Give it a nine. Okay. Yeah. Nine. My pulled pork sandwich was a good, a good ten. I see. It had the, had the fat in he it. He said it was everything. It was, it was delicious. Yes. I'm going to have it at the gym <laughs> tomorrow. Hard. That's than okay. Mother. Hard as a mother. It was but then it. what I also do is I won't eat any like this is a go that's the calories in that. It's yeah. Really high. That's your that's your whole day. That's my day. Yeah. I cheated for that and I'm not yeah. eating anything else at all. Yeah. I'm drinking a lot of water. Right. And if I eat something, it's gonna be brand. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna feel like you're full. Go take it out. And let it go. <laughs> go on to bed. And then go to sleep. That's it. So Oh, gee, you know, you got, you know, you got the mac and cheese. Oh, I say, he quiet. That food must be everything. So, okay, the Goya. Goya made uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez mm -hmm. employee oh. of the month because she was going to uh, boycott Goya because they were supporting Trump. Well, yeah, that was a long time ago. A long time ago. It? So yeah. what's trending about it is that they made her employee of the month because... Their stocks or the sales went up due to her saying you know she was. Yeah. 
That's what they did. Okay. Well. That just shows you how feeble the market is. That's yeah. That speaks for itself. That was that was an easy one. That was easy to do. I'm trying to keep her on because that's that's crazy. I like her. I can't believe that's how like the tactics we're using now. Like when we were younger, that wasn't the way politics was played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not like that. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's like tick for tap. Yeah, they dirty. They patty as shit. Too. And it's online. Mm -hmm. Everybody can see it. It's like you know, people are like you know, everybody can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we see you. To see that. Yeah. You know, they had 120 representatives go to court and petition to overturn the Georgia uh, uh, ballots votes. Yeah. The electoral vote. They uh, that's what I heard. It, and they, 120. So what they say about those 120 uh, people, they said, I, I read that they want to remove them or don't have them come back. They should not be represented. Mm. You know, when you try to, and they're trying to get mm -hmm. um, Giuliani disbarred. A lot wow. of, like 1,500 lawyers uh, wrote to the, the bar uh, uh, association to try to get them disbarred for lying <laughs> about the, you know, everything. All of our fucking be lying. Did you see him break wind the other day? In the middle I of the did day? see that he passed, yeah. I'm so dead. But okay, how about this? We're going to talk about that. How about when he was in Borat? Mm. Did you watch the new Borat? Oh. Let me explain no, to I him. need to, though, because I think he's so alert. funny. Explain to him. Go ahead. It's cool. Right it's cool. I still watch it. I love him. He's funny. He wanted to see. I saw an interview about him. A couple yeah. days ago. Okay, yeah. okay. Where he expounded upon it. I don't even know what the fuck expounded means, but. <laughs> That's what he did. He said he wanted to try because he hated Donald Trump so bad to sit with these people that felt this way. You know, the Republicans and and he wanted to see how close he could get. And he got all the way to Rudy Giuliani. He had this little blonde Russian white girl. Mm -hmm. um, Spoiler alert. Yeah. A little blonde white girl posed as an interviewer. Mm -hmm. And she gave him a few clues and touched him on the leg. And he's, oh, yeah, yeah. He bought it just like an old, dirty old white man. <laughs> and he ended up going in the back room to her hotel. Is it lighter? Uh-huh. She went back to the hotel. The, the hotel. Lord which which, which was right Juliana. in the next room, right? Mm -hmm. with and then what? he laid back and unzipped his pants. She got on her knees. But before she could start doing him, uh, Borat jumps out and goes, take me, my back pussy is better than hers. And no. He jumps and they up showed that. And they showed in that. The movie. This, is, this is in the movie. In the movie? Yeah. I, I couldn't mm -hmm. believe. And it was a real thing. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I said, this can't be real. Wait a minute. Borat does some extreme shit. Yeah, no, I know. Like, but then he put that movie out. I haven't watched mm -hmm. it. And no, and like no retaliation has occurred. People ask him about it, and he just shut him down. How did he shut him down? Like, what did he say? Get up and walk out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's what I would do. Did we lose a lighter, guys? What? You got the you, you got barbecue. <laughs> ah, he fucked you up, y'all. Like, right, if you guys would see this guy in these ribs. <laughs> He's so quiet right now. You can go ahead with that one. Let me just hit this. He's not just going to hit this. He's not just going to hit this. I thought I had one. But yeah, no, I got to see the new four rack. It is. It is fantastic. It. It is I got to see it. That's, that sounds fantastic. You're going to blow, you're gonna blow your mind. I, I was watching it. I watched it with my family. He's super funny. And we were like, what? Did that happen? We just couldn't believe it. I'm like, this, this has to be played out. This cannot be real, go, really going on. But it happened. Mm -hmm. And it was in it. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that was uh, what happened with her. Next joint. Let's talk about uh, Matthew McConaughey. Did you guys check that out? About his aggressive centricism. Pretty much what they're saying is white privilege, white male, mm -hmm. doesn't care. I'm not. What's going on? Like, on why side? would I be surprised about that? He's, he's who, he, he's who he is. We only know what we, you know him as an actor and what we yeah. see. So we don't know him personally. So no, I'm not surprised. 
that's why I tend not to want to know too much about them. Yeah. Because then it fucks up, you know, what I want to watch and what I want to be interested in. I'm the same in. way. I'm the same because way. Because if I get too deep into their lives and I realize they're not who I think they are, it's going to be a turn off. Like, know? he's supposed to just act anyway. You're supposed to just believe be who I need you to be for these Yeah, nobody needs you to talk about your personal, you know, for real. But they want it. People want to know. But I don't expect why. him to not be. I mean, like, a blonde, handsome white man doesn't give a fuck. I'm like, duh, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Me either. What the fuck? He's, he's like, older now. He's not like, you know, he's, he's, he's still kid, he's still slaying these hoes. Let me tell you, he's, they are fucking Matthew McConaughey whenever he wants. Poo poo. He is not dying for it. He's not your average white guy that's like going to have an opinion that I would not have expected him to have. Does that make sense to you guys? No, no, no. Yeah, he's. He, I mean, it makes sense. That. Matthew. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. This is the name Matthew. It's <laughs> so funny. Shout out to all the Matthews out there. Who is Matthew? <laughs> Matthew walking by right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's for sure. I'm gonna... Oh, man. So you know OG about to pull out his now. Man, I knocked out that half, awesome. half rack, man. Don't stop. Get it, get it. <coughs> Put some pippin' in it. Clean. <laughs> so that's Matthew McConaughey. Okay, next joint was uh, Noah Cyrus called out for her racist language against uh, Candace Owens. And she called her, she said to shut her nappy something head yeah. up. Yeah. Because <laughs> of what she said, uh, she said about the young man wearing the dress in Vogue. OG, you would like to hear what she said. I'm actually going to read this because I actually pasted okay. it. Okay. Well, I she, believe he should have the right to wear whatever he want to wear. She said, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. So it's about this young man. He was in Vogue. She was talking about this guy wearing this dress mm -hmm. in Vogue. Mm -hmm. So, what do you I think mean? he can wear whatever he wants. OG? Mm -hmm. I think what she said was exactly true. Mm -hmm. um, he can wear whatever he wants, though. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But I think she, what she said, she, she, said, do she didn't say hair. anything wrong, but she didn't say it right either. Mm -hmm. um, it's all in presentation. And she um, she made sense, but there's more that could have been said than just that. I think that she she uh, put it in such an intellectual way that it could be interpreted many different ways. Okay. She might have to be called to explain exactly what she meant, but I don't think it was outright racist. I think it was a lot of truism in what she said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like her. Yeah, she's different. She's always kind of up and down for me, but... When she say some shit sometimes, I'll be like, mm. I be disagreeing with her, but then I be understanding some of her points. Like, I, I get her points, but she just don't sit right with me. Something about her. Mm -hmm. Something about her. It's just some people don't got that vibe, and that's just probably the vibe she got. Yeah. I think she's been privileged to do some things. I'm not saying she didn't work hard to get where she is, mm -hmm. and she's not as fortunate to those who came before her, of whom the back she stood on. Right. You told me that before about something. Yeah. Yeah, and she seems very arrogant. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's going on there, man. I, you know, my my opinion on the topic is, man, I don't care, man. It's it's strange. I mean, having to want to wear a dress now, but uh, you know, if, if that keeps you from wanting to kill yourself, you know, because you can now wear your dress outside. Yes. Like, hey, the men have yeah. been wearing dresses. Do it. Years. Do it. If you're not out there doing yourself, you know, hey, wear this fucking dress, man. Do whatever you want to do. Just don't blow no shit up and don't Please. bother me. Exactly. Because, if, because if you at work bothering me because you ain't get to wear your dress this weekend. Yes. Fuck, you ain't your dress. Yes. <laughs> what color do you want? I will get you today, bro. You know what I'm saying? What are we doing here? Just leave me alone. God. Oh, man. So, oh, God, man. please be able to do whatever you want. All right, well, here's a topic that, for me, I would like to talk about, man. Uh, Biden and his student loan forgiveness. Y'all think that's going to take place? It will. 
Oh, I hope so. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you know what? If they get their vacant, I hope they, they pick it up. Uh, the seat, the Senate seat they in they Georgia, it it'll happen. But if they don't get the Senate seat in Georgia, it may not happen because then they could block it. You know, so let's let's see. Oh, he doesn't need them. Oh, right, he, right, right. Yeah, he doesn't I, need I think, them. I, I think that's all for you right now. Then I'm going to take a little pause on okay. that one myself. You missed out on the one we just had this morning. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I ain't gonna be able to, yeah. Yeah, I be able to go. <laughs> All gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. No I, I hope he uh, gets rid of that shit. I hope he gets rid of that shit. Because I got some loans. A brother, I, a brother needs to get rid of I need exactly to fill out the paperwork for whatever program I think, that is. I think it was like he can pass to, to get it at like 10000 They're saying that the ten grand ain't enough. I'm also saying the ten grand ain't enough. They're saying if he gets rid of ten grand, he helps out about maybe sixty-seven percent, not even sixty-seven percent of borrowers. Here he helps out about about thirty-three percent of borrowers. Mm. If he if he does about sixty grand, they say he's helping out by sixty-seven. He's at sixty-seven percent of borrowers. Mm. So they're like, so you know. Oh my goodness! Right? Yes, he, he, he's resetting. The, the, I mean, the economies will be reset. I'll be so proud. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at them little bubbles yeah, that they're eating in. Yeah, you got your little yeah. bubble. Remember the little bubble boy? Y'all yeah, remember the little bubble boy in the yeah. bubble? Yeah. Nobody can touch his little... Can't go in the bubble, boy. I tried to call him a name, but I'm trying to get out of name calling. That's good. That's good. Recently got in trouble for calling this girl. Uh, she got like a problem and I nicknamed her Nick Nick. Nick Nick always kind of stiff. And one of her eyebrows kind of go up like she's excited. Oh, oh, so no, she uh, turned the corner, her whole body kind of turns like an airplane. You call it Nick Nick? Yeah, man. I thought like it was that. a cool name. Shit. I mean, I didn't realize until like a couple weeks everybody was calling her Nick Nick. Yo. It's a little nippy out here, right? I would no, say. Yeah. No. no. It feels good as a month. God. You'll be outside. Right <laughs> Amazon. God. It is a little nippy out here. I'm just saying. Oh, no. I, I, I'm so I got behind the arm. Is she seven feet tall? She's about seven feet tall, yeah. I know she got to be at least 250. She might, might not be a. I think that might not might, be a girl. Might be a she now. <laughs> well, you know what? God bless. Oh her. Lord Jesus, no. God bless the pronoun. The pronoun. Yeah. This motherfucker walk. Go ahead. You gonna be upset? I know with my credit bad. Shit. Just the fuck it. I cross street with the fuck I want to cross. Ah, he was like, fuck the cause. <laughs> Uh, my man, if he gets rid of them loans, I am all for it, man. I think he should try to do Please that. Please sign that. I think the education system should be free. A good education is wanting to learn. If that it's is free, true. they just going to be trying to do anything. They're going to act like they don't. Yeah. yeah. And they gonna y'all know a fool can't learn nothing in school. Oh, man. They just closed this down. That's okay. crazy. Okay. That used to be old. Yeah, a lot of stuff is closing down. I don't know. Oh, no, that. it was that movie with Bobby Ray where the guy came oh, from prison. Oh, Lord. And I, his son was a... Uh, what is it called? Uh, his son started selling drugs to the yes. same guy. Yes. Yes, and then he got out of jail. And he's like, you can go to yeah. college. And he was like, Daddy, you know a fool can't learn nothing in prison? What the fuck? Movie yeah. I'm talking about. I, Bro, I don't know the movie, but it was a but good it, movie. But it, 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 with Bobby Johnson. Bobby, that's his name, Bobby Johnson? Bobby Johnson. What's his name, And his Bobby son. Ray? Oh, wow. I don't know what that's about. That's old-ass country name. Mm -hmm. Bobby Johnson. Like Lucinda and the May and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The boys be riding on one wheel like that. Yeah, I see. He be riding on one wheel the wrong way in the middle of the day. I'm telling you, that's skill. They don't get credit for that. <laughs> the wrong until way. they get hit. They get, the, yeah, they get their life for that until they get hit. Oh, man, this place is different, D.C. Yeah, it looks they different. They got a spot right there, man. They got the best margarita from Where? Right there, Alero, that place on the corner. Mm. So, oh, you know what? They got a frozen margarita that'll put you on your ass. Is that good? So what else I wanted to cover, man? This is the end of the year. Uh, Merry you know, Christmas, we, guys. Merry Christmas. Look forward to trying to see if we get back to some sort of type of normal. How about the show? What do y'all what, what do y'all want to do next year? What do y'all see for next year? What have y'all have y'all learned anything? What have you learned ever since we've been doing this? You know, how do you feel about looking at yourself on video after doing this? I don't know. I, I feel great about life 
in general. Okay. This is just something that's happening on the outside, but on the inside of me, it's, it's the same. Uh -huh. I've been loving my kids, and now I get to spend time with my kids, and uh -huh. so I've just been doing the same. I haven't changed much other than um, maybe my, my goals, maybe my motivation for different things have changed, but personally, nope, I haven't learned anything different at all. I've been on this. I've been on this roller coaster, so you know, a, a little bit of change outside is not going to deter what I'm doing on the inside. And in regards to all gas, no brakes, what have you gained and learned from being a host and mm. uh, trying to <laughs> take it take it to the next level? Because your that goal is, is to take that, that, take is, that comedy is definitely, to the next level. It's definitely sacrifices that you have to make and take it. Things you have to do, and it has to be something you really want to do, something that you really want that you, you know, put put yourself into um, being seen, um, being heard. So, I mean, I love it. It's it's, it's been great for me. I, I don't want it to stop. I see it's growing, so mm -hmm. I want to continue to grow with it. So, yeah. I'm willing to sacrifice and do and and, and be out there as much as I can. Um, and bring new artists and stuff in if I can. So if anybody out there, you know what I'm saying, see me or you know whatever, holler at me, let me know. Um, because it's, it's, it's about growth and making sure that we use this season to grow mm -hmm. and and not de let it deter us from anything that we've set forth to do. You know what? I, I, you know I like that quote. I'm glad you put that very nicely put. It, it is about growth. I'm I'm growing right now. You might want to move your seat up. You an idiot. You just did anything. It, it is about growth because the the corona once it forced you and your family to get together. <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't good uh, in the beginning. It was not good. You know, you were irritating and you might say some things you you didn't want to say. But I think above all, it forced you to get to know who you really love in the mm -hmm. first place. Mm -hmm. And then you accept them for who they are. Mm -hmm. You say, hey, they, they got to accept me. I got to accept them. We're not being abusive to each other. This right. is just the way we are. You learn how right. to be with your family without all that uh, anxiety. You mm -hmm. know, just leave mm -hmm. them alone. I think it makes for a more calmer house. Mm -hmm. Once it mm -hmm. explodes and after the rain and the thunder, you know, it washes away mm -hmm. all your sins. Have mercy. Y'all don't hear me now. Amen. What? So, OG, you've been with, you've been with me in, you know, we've been, we've been doing this for 30 something episodes now. Yeah. What have you learned? In regards to your comedy and you know striking forward and getting yourself out there more, what has the podcast been doing for you in regards to all that? Well, you know my comedy is is even if I'm not on uh, film, I'm doing my comedy all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I learned is some people can't take it, and what I learned is I don't have comedy for everybody. Mm -hmm. But what I was trying to do is uh, like process my comedy so that it would be filtered down not to offend anyone. Mm. And then that, that held me back from being m myself, mm. you know, or oneself. Mm. Um, and so now I try to just give you exactly what I mean, but try not to put it in such a vulgar way at times, but that's mm -hmm. who I am. But mm. uh, I think 90% of the filter is off, you mm -hmm. know. Being a coochieologist, I gotta leave that 10% on because I'm married, you know. <laughs> but even the growth in coochieology helps How's the coochieology is be buried? <clears throat> right. See, the coochieology is the plight thereof. The coochie. Yeah. And the work you put in. It's like a doctor. You can't just put one or two years in. You got to put like a lot of years in. Uh-huh. You know, a lot of time, a lot of analyzation. You know, you know what? <laughs> and then you get your coochieologist license. They don't just give anybody a coochieologist license. It becomes a license. Your license in coochieology. Hey, you gotta have a license in good geology. You okay, okay. Just, I like to see who's handing these up. You have to be insured? 
Who's the blind needs license? <laughs> who's overlooking the crooked on the bike? I think there's only less than 90 in the country. Yeah. So not everybody has one. Right. There's 50 right. states, there's only 90. You want me to not, look up Coochieology and see if there's another Coochieology. I want out the Google Coochieology. Yeah. <laughs> Coochieology. <laughs> and the fight thereof. I don't want fight. that in my history. I will be. <laughs> What's the problem? You are. Uh, you are the problem. We're looking up a Coochieology 101. All right. And, and, and the Coochieologist does what? Mm. Um, study the plight thereof. Mm. The Coochie. Ah. Well, you know what? I know it's it's about the Coochie because that's the mm. primary goal. It's like being a doctor. That's the primary goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. But it's about being a gentleman, the things you have to do. What are you doing wrong? You see that movie, uh, Groundhog Day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You remember he was talking to that, that lady and he kept saying something wrong and the next day he would correct it mm -hmm. and until he finally got to the end of the date yeah that, i do all that for years so you don't have to go through all that oh my god oh my i filter goodness. all that out filter all that out bam yeah. That's what you got. That's you what know, cool what I, you the plight thereof. Yep. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for explaining that, sir. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And it, and it took me to another universe. My Man. back now. Oh, they, oh, they about to get hit by cars. Bro, they don't care, in DC. They are off the chain, they son. They got that law. If you hit somebody, it's your fault. Damn. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's just your what? fault. <laughs> yup. You hit a pedestrian, it's your fault. Fuck. Damn. So, well, you know. The mission of the show, after we've been doing this for so long, you know, I've started seeing really more. And, you know, I, I knew it was this, but now I could, like, put it down on paper. The mission of the show is to highlight the voice of local entrepreneurs, content creators, and businesses in the DMV. Okay. I'm, I, what do you all think about that? I think that's, like, what we've been doing. I think we do a good job of doing that. I mean, all in all serious with, with the Coochieologist, I, I like to provide some light on things that I know people might not look at. Like, I like politics. I like, you know, uh, uh, public radio. I listen a lot. Uh, maybe some of the information isn't 100%, but I try to give you some insight on what, what I've learned from all this listening, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then kick in a few jokes. You can move that seat up now. I don't know. I don't no, I don't. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm done. So that's what I started seeing. Yeah, I'm done. I started seeing that, and, and uh, well, I've, I've known that's what we wanted to do at first. At first, it was uh, getting to this point, interviewing people that have businesses and haven't had the opportunity to really put it out there and get seen and marketed. The goal of the show is to keep doing that. Do you have like certain what kind of more artists or people do you like to see more of? Or maybe you know, maybe I, there's certain I, people I, that we haven't really reached out to that you're like, man, we need to get these kind of people. You know what? Kind I, of person. I, I like the, the collage of people that we have. It's, yeah. it's not all like rappers or just no. I mean, it's different people. That That's we, right. The eyebrow uh, young lady that does mm -hmm. the brows and the eyes and just all those different. Just regular, you know, ordinary people. people. You know, wow, man. Yeah. Doing, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing out here. Trying something new. Oh, shit. Oh wow! He's gonna do some new oh, stuff. Oh wow! Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yo, y'all rolling with us, man. Wow! Oh, they always try to start a whole accident. Wow! Okay. Anyway, the brakes are good on this guy. He's like, wow! I drive through the city sometimes, and it was crazy. One day, I saw like this guy arguing with his girlfriend and. And I mean, they were having this verbal sexual conversation. Verbal about sexual? Was, man, he was How was like, it verbal sexual? I mean, the police. Wow. It was like five police surrounding him. She obviously called the police. Mm -hmm. She got the She grabbed his bags after they put his arms behind his back and put the handcuffs on. And they held his hands behind his back and let him argue with him. And he kept saying, well, the dick was good, though, right? And that was oh, like his no. whole. He was like, yeah, but this was the best dick you ever had, right? And I'm looking at the whole thing. The light turned red and green two or three times. Nobody even you still stand on the horn. It was like <laughs> two or three times. It was like a movie. Like you couldn't get that at a movie. You know? Oh, here come the other half. He gonna he gonna run across the block. Yeah, here you go. 
Oh man. So you like the diversity? The dick was getting the hilarious. The diversity. Oh, I, I like that too. Yeah. It just, There's no. Yeah. yeah. It's all of us. Yeah. We all we got. So it's yeah. all of us. Yeah. Whatever you doing, let us know what you're trying to do. If it's and if it's decent or not, because don't be looking crazy. Unless it's entertaining in the motherfucker. <laughs> I don't mind being at the same. It could be a little cuckoo for me. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I ain't, I, you know, I'm picky, but at the same time, the shit's funny. I'm gonna laugh. And hey, don't be upset. Don't be upset. Oh afraid. my God. Uh, look at this. Look at this. In a wheelchair. That's a dude because it's a girl. That's a, I think it's a lady. That's a dude because oh, it's a dude. She got one leg. Oh, Jesus Christ. We seen her dog earlier. What's going on? Oh, oh my God. What's going on out here? This is. This is where the table. We seen her dog earlier. Why don't nobody have limbs out here? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Y'all hold on to your limbs, people. Hey, yeah, what's going on, y'all? The limbs not. The dog ain't had no legs. Oh, my she ain't God. had no legs. But she in the middle of the damn street. Kicking around, yo. Kicking around <laughs> the one leg. <laughs> I mean, you um, gotta take your hat off to her. Yeah, you do got to. She can take hers off that week. Well, man, you know, wrapping up, end of the year. Anything you want to tell the folks, man? It's time to get ready for next year. We have some content. We have some food. Hey, we bringing it this year. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, please. You know, let us know. You know, holler at us. Let us know. What you want to see. Oh, not what you want to see. Let us know what you want to see. Oh, shit. Okay, well, one of these is everywhere. Yes, there you go. You gonna put it on me? Well, you said that you gonna let him see. Right, let him see. Yeah, ask me, let me know. I'm gonna tell him. You can find that Super Saiyan Santi. <laughs> All Gas No Brakes podcast. Keep donating. We raised two hundred forty-one dollars so far. Thank you guys. We have used some of the monies towards the cameras. We got the switches. Now we get into the cameras. A couple more grand, and we're gonna get there, guys. We're gonna have more cameras in the in the studio. Different shot, different angles, and we're gonna switch. And pan evenly, very smooth. Uh, and you can find you guys. You can find me on OG underscore Frank on uh, Instagram. I haven't been uh, throwing out much, but I intend to in the future. So stay tuned. I am tuned in. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, you can find the on Instagram. At me, Honey Child, on Instagram. And Facebook at Exhaled. And Quan and Demon Violin on Facebook. And I'm everywhere. Love y'all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.